Hello and welcome to a new vlog and trip report as today we are gonna take a look at the Chemnitz model which is a very interesting uh, concept on how to connect trams and uh, railway lines. Here on the map you can see our route today. Today we take uh, the pilot line, the first line of the Chemnitz model and it's the line C11 from Chemnitz to Stolberg and as you can see this line uses regular trams. They are looking almost the same like the regular trams of Chemnitz. The only big difference that you can see is the color. Those trains are red and the regular trams are blue. Of course they have a few more technical differences as the tram that we are on right now is also approved as a regular train, not only as a tram, that is the difference. But the only visible difference is the color, so you can immediately see if you are in a regular tram or if you're in a tram of the Citibahn Chemnitz. The concept is that we are starting in the city center as a regular tram, so here we can do some sightseeing of Chemnitz. Chemnitz is a city that does not have the best reputation, but I found the city to be surprisingly nice. There are quite a few nice buildings and interesting sites, so I was quite surprised in a positive way by Chemnitz. And here we are at the central station of the tram network of Chemnitz. There I had to leave the tram because my memory card broke and I had to buy a new one and then I took the next train 30 minutes later to go to Stolberg. Here we are crossing under the former railway line to Stolberg. Before the Chemnitz model was introduced, there was just a regular train starting at Chemnitz main station and then going to Stolberg. So on a regular railway line. Nowadays the train is starting at the main station of Chemnitz as well, but then going through the city center as a regular tram. Now we are reaching the station Alt Chemnitz and regular trams are turning here, going back to the city center and we are continuing on with a small connection to the former regular railway line. And then we are continuing on as a train instead of a tram. Here you can see the former railway line to the main station here we are reaching this railway line, so that means from now on we are not a tram anymore, now we are a regular train. For example, you can see that, that we are now not going on the street, but on a separate track. We have uh, gated street crossings, for example, so there are quite a few differences. Also, there are less stops. Of course, those stops are adjusted to the low floor trams that are operating this line now. These are trams of the type Variobahn or also called NGT6 LDZ and they are supposed to operate this railway line until the year of 2027 because there are plans to upgrade this railway line to enlarge it because nowadays the trains are ending in Stolberg, there you can connect to a regular train to Glauchau and the plan is to build a new railway line so you do not have to change trains in Stolberg anymore and those trains can continue on in the direction of Ulsnitz and St. Egidien. And then there will be also new trains on this line but for now there are the Variobahn trains till Stolberg and we will take a look at the train from Stolberg to Glauchau in the next video. This is, by the way, the only line of the Citibahn Chemnitz and the Chemnitz model that is using the Variobahn. All other lines are using the Foslo CityLink that I will show you in another video as well, of course. The basic idea of the Chemnitz model is to connect cities that are around Chemnitz with the city center because most people that are using the railway lines from the cities around Chemnitz have to go to the city center of Chemnitz for work and early on they had to take the train to the main station and then change to the tram and the concept of this Chemnitz model is 
to make the change of trains unnecessary, you can just step in the train wherever you live and go directly to the city center of Chemnitz, wherever you have to go. That's much easier than to go to the main station and change to the tram there. So this is the basic concept and it's a very successful concept that was copied in few other cities in Germany later on as well. So here you can see when this next video will be uploaded. As always, I'd like to say thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please consider to comment, like, subscribe or share the video link and I hope to see you in my next video.